Hi friends, welcome back to another exciting Photoshop tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a stunning mosaic photo effect in Photoshop. If you have ever wondered what the mosaic photo effect is and how to achieve it, you are in the right place. So let's dive right in. First thing first, let's open up the photo we want to work with in Photoshop. If your photo has a clean background, you can skip the step of separating the subject from the background. But if you need to do so, don't worry, I will walk you through it. First go ahead and select the subject using the select and mask tool. This tool allows you to precisely isolate the subject from the background. Now click on select subject button. Once you have made the initial selection, take a moment to refine it further. Now click on refine hair. This specialized feature helps you achieve a more natural look especially when dealing with intricate hair details. Now scroll down to the output settings and ensure that the decontaminate colors option is checked for the cleaner color separation then set the output to new layer with layer mask. Finally click ok to apply the settings. And remember when creating a mosaic effect you don't need to stress about achieving a perfect cutout. In fact a few inconsistencies can actually enhance the artistic appeal of the final result. Alright, now that we have our subject isolated, let's move on to adding the photos that will create our mosaic effect. I have already prepared a photo collage grid using some images. If you want to create a similar photo grid, I have a simple trick for you. Copy and paste all the photos into a folder on your iPhone, iPad or any smartphone. Now open the folder, pinch up or down to resize the preview and then take a screenshot. Finally open the screenshot in Photoshop. Once you have the screenshot in Photoshop, go to edit and choose define pattern. Give your pattern a name and click ok. Now close the tab and add a pattern fill layer. Select the pattern you just created. and scale it down to your preference. In this case, I will choose 40%. Perfect. After that, right click on pattern fill layer and convert to smart object. Now change blending mode to overlay. Now let's add a gray background to enhance the mosaic effect. We will do this by adding a solid color adjustment layer and selecting a shade of gray. Great. Now to make the pattern fill layer pop, let's add some sharpening. Go to filter, select sharpen and apply it once. You can also apply it one more time to further enhance the details. Now to add depth and dimension to our mosaic effect, we will duplicate the background copy layer, move this layer to the top stack and change its blending mode to lighten. Now lower the opacity by 50%. To achieve the desired effect. Fantastic, we are almost there. Let's duplicate the background copy layer once again and move it forward. This time we will apply a levels adjustment to darken it. Adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights to your liking and don't be afraid to play around until you achieve the desired effect. Once you are happy, Lower the opacity of this layer to your preference. This is looking wonderful. Let's rename this layer to lighten and the and this layer to shadow. We are getting closer to the final result. Now let's duplicate the pattern fill layer one more time and move it forward. Change the blending mode to soft light and lower the opacity to 25%. This will add a subtle touch to our mosaic effect. Great, we are almost at the finish line. For the final step, let's add a bit of smoothness to the background copy layer. We will apply a surface blur to give it a polished look. Head over to the filter menu, select blur 
and then choose surface blur set the small radius and threshold to your liking and click ok this will give the background a soft blurred appearance now that we have all our layers in place let's select them all and group them together this will help keep our workspace organized and make it easier to manage the effect i will change this group mosaic effect so that we can easily identify it later if we need to make any adjustments and there you have it take a look at the before and after of our photo it adds a unique artistic touch to any image if you want to see more photoshop tutorials like this make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications i will be sharing more exciting editing techniques and creative ideas in the future thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video take care happy editing